Hello, I'm Jordan Woodruff, and welcome into Coach's Corner. And this week, I'm excited because a few weeks ago, we talked about Ponca City possibly getting their first gold medal in a long time in state swimming. And that ultimately did happen. And head coach Heather Harris is with us right now. How cool is it to get that gold medal? And, you know, for Maddie, we'll talk more about her. It's a very special accomplishment for just a sophomore. Yes, huge. Uh, it's been 34 years since we've had uh, a girl do that. So I was a year old when that happened, which is crazy to think about. Um, just awesome, incredible season she's had. Incredible seasons our, our team has had, and, and what a huge thing for our program. I mean, yeah. It's huge. It, it's just cool when I think about all the stuff that's happened this year uh, with, with Ponca, the boys' football team, getting their first playoff win in 17 years. This is the first gold medal since around 06 for swimming, and the first girls' gold medal since – 1988. I mean, when you start saying that, that is just, that's special territory, and it has to be a sense of pride, not only for you, but all the other swimmers as well to accomplish this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, my dad was the coach uh, for when I was swimming for 20 plus years, and, you know, he had a lot of success, and, and he always tells me, you know, like, how proud he is of me, of, of what we're doing for swimming, and things that we've never done in swimming, and and, you know, I had a saltwater coach come up to me who watched me swim, and he was like, man, you've really you've really brought Ponca along. That's that's awesome to see. So it's just it's just awesome. It's great. Yeah, and I want to talk a little bit, Maddie, first. 100-yard uh, um, or 100-meter breaststroke. Uh, it's, 50 yard. Me, it's yard. It's yard, yeah. 100-yard yeah, yep. breaststroke and then 50-yard freestyle. Yes. She gets the uh, bronze in that. Mm -hmm. So she swam really good up there. Oh, yeah, really well. Um, so at regionals, uh, this is something to be exciting about too, but at regionals she was second. Um, uh, but she was the first girl from Ponca to ever break 24 seconds in the 50 free. She went 23.92. Uh, that's incredibly fast. There's only two other girls in the state that can do that besides Maddie. Um, she did get the bronze medal uh, in the 50. wasn't It wasn't her. I mean, she swam really well, uh, but it just wasn't like it was at regionals. So, and that sometimes happens. But her hunter breaststroke, man. Uh, I just so I it just it was it's almost a surreal moment because like it was just it was so good it was so it was a perfect swim yeah I was gonna perfect. say as you're watching is it just you kind of could feel the energy oh, something yeah. special was about to happen oh yeah and she uh, that's been our goal whole, all year you know we knew back in December when she when she went a 107 and I was like man it's gonna be fast she's gonna it's like a pressure cooker we're just gonna explode and and we did and and I knew going into that race you know she she was seated uh, first going into pre that night or to finals the next day and by like two seconds i was like she's gonna have a massive swim today i mean I just, you just you just know yeah you know you know, you know as a coach yeah. sometimes yeah and not only in girls you also had a boy that ended up getting a bronze <clears throat> uh with uh, kyle keen right? yes uh great hunter freestyle he was seated uh second going in to that uh before we swam prelims and and stayed third and and went a best time it was an incredible race too that was exciting um yeah, just, I mean, it was just an awesome state meet, the best state meet I've ever been a part of. Yeah, and uh, going to get into more some other stuff, but also for the teams, and we talked about this, it's hard with the amount of swimmers and resources some of the other schools have. Two top 10 finishes, that's nothing to slide at all. Yeah, especially with, um, you know, if you think about it, like we only had two girls that scored individually. And then we had a, a relay that scored in the top seven, so or the top eight. They were seventh, and so there's what six girls scoring ultimately. And then on the guy side as well, we got disqualified in our biggest relay, which was really unfortunate. Um, that was a huge devastation for all of us, but it happens. And uh, but there was only five guys scoring also to get seventh so it, it they just they just performed above and beyond any expectation i i had yeah and not to mention uh, it had to be a fun meet to be a part of now i know you weren't contending for first place as a team but uh the jinx edging bartlesville girls and edmund north edging out jinx i mean i would imagine the energy in there was unreal because when you have a half point and a one point difference in the finish that's very, very competitive. Oh, yeah. Um, I was real. I was really uh, good friends with – I'm good friends with Chad uh, Englehart over there at Bartlesville. And he – I was just excited to see his girls win. Um, that's always exciting not to see Jinx win. Uh, you know, I'm sorry to say that, but it is. And uh, and the and the boys – and the, boy, the North boys, they, they had a heck of a performance. They 
were so close to state records and swimming really fast times, and they deserved it. I mean, they really did. Yeah, it was crazy. A half point, Jinx edges out the Bartlesville yeah. girls, and yes. it all went down to a girl that was supposed to finish eighth end up finishing sixth. So that, right. that's right. that's how much of a team effort. Just finishing up a few places can make the difference in points. And then yes. I think the Jinx boys scratched. Mm-hmm. So uh, or yeah, it was they, uh, they had a DQ them. and a, yep. a relay, kind of like what happened yep. to you, and that yep. is all of a sudden a lot of points off the board, especially if you're favored to win, which is like 36 points all yep. of a sudden. Yep. So that could really change that. It, it just, I, I don't know if people understand because they see so many sports and they think about it, but swimming can be exciting. And the scoreboard watching that's going on with swimming has to be unreal, especially for a coach because you're sitting there every moment. And then after they're actually placed, you're worried, oh, are we going to get dq Yeah, and that's huge. And, um, you know, I would go through the heats just to see where my kids are sitting before the final, so, you know, the final results come out. And I'm like, write down times of everything just to see where everybody falls. And every coach does that, you know, kind of seeing like where we are and what we need to do. And yeah, it's just, it was, it was, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. It was a crazy meet. And cool to see all the accomplishments you had. And now... Yeah. You go off to the summer months and, uh, you know, I mean, there's a lot of swimming that's still going on and not necessarily maybe sanctioned and everything. But, I mean, Maddie had a title last summer. So uh, we talk (laughs) about kind of what goes on and maybe your involvement. And I know there maybe isn't as much based on what the OSSA says you can and can't do, but kind of what goes on now during the summer. So fortunately, without like... um those swimmers like Maddie and, and Kyle and Tim and Braden and Jesslyn, they, they all are going to swim clubs. So we swim clubs. So we get away like with being able to do that. And I'm the head coach for club as well. So we get a lot of work in, in the summer months, but we also have, we have to finish out our club season. So we have club state next weekend. And then wow. they also, those, those people qualify for the sexual meet, which is an even bigger meet than state. Um, if, you know, Olympians will be there, uh, college swimmers will be there and they'll go compete at that right before spring break. And then that'll be the end of our short course season. And then we will start our off season finally. So it's not even over, it's even though even it is <laughs> Ponca City school right. section, but the club part. And right. how much of an advantage is it that you are also the club head coach getting to work with these swimmers? I mean, I, I would imagine that has to be a big advantage for everybody it is a huge advantage because they don't have to like you know they don't have to I guess interact or like deal with like two different like coaching styles I mean they deal with me whether they like it or not you know all year (laughs) round which I think is beneficial absolutely in the long run yeah well just to end it talk about the pride you have and and not just those medalists but the team as a whole what they're able to accomplish and as we talked about with some of the club, what they may be able to accomplish going forward. And when I look and see some of these kids are just like sophomores and very young, uh, I think there's going to be other teams across the state. They're going to be the girls and guys that walk into the meet and they're going to like, oh boy, they're here. I, and that's a yeah, good feeling, isn't it? It is a good feeling. Yeah, uh, we're, I mean, we are a young team. You know, I have two girls, incredible girls, three girls that are sophomores, and then uh, I get all my junior guys back. We are losing Tanner Estes, which is huge. Um, you know, we're going to have to find somebody to fill a spot. But Riley Latner, man, he stepped up this meet too. He's a junior. So, yeah, we have, we have you know, another couple good, great years of, of swimming that, that this town and, and myself and should be very excited about because we are we are top athletes in the state, you know. You feel like you're uh, starting maybe to roll the ball and build something special here? I think so. I mean, I think I think that's been kind of in the plan for the last couple of years, watching them swim and, and how, how much better they get every year. I, I mean, it, it, it impresses me as a coach so much that I'm just like, I don't know how they do it. I really don't. Like, I mean, they train hard. But, like, there's just something about them. I mean, they're just a special bunch. They really are. Well, congratulations to all them, and congratulations to you. Thank you. What some accomplishments to get what we were able to achieve as a school down there at the State Swim Mate. And, like I said, I think it's only going to be something that builds more and more as we go forward. So, when you got medalists coming back, that's a good feeling. Yeah, it's awesome. (laughs) I can't wait. I can't wait for next season. Yeah. Yeah. That's Coach Heather Harris, and that is going to do it. For this week's Coach's Corner, Jordan Woodruff saying so long. Until next time, go Cats.